Here again with another Loose Fur Season 5 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important if you aren't caught up to the point where I am at rewatching or watching Loose Fur, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention, as well as put in the description if that happens to be the case. So you find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for all of you out there that are wondering, this is indeed my first time watching the show Loose Fur. So join me on the journey and let's discuss the show in the comment section along with the legendary Crazy Coffee Man, who is definitely a Loose Fur fanatic as well as a Dexter and Breaking Bad fan. Uh, but let's talk about this awesome and amazing show. With all that said, this will be Loose Fur Season 5, Episode 9. The title of this episode is called Family Dinner. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. Father, you're here, Amenadil says. Well, you've got my attention. Uh, that was, I believe, said more deeper. Well, you've got my attention by Father. Uh, Michael says, look at what Lucifer did to his face. He doesn't care who's at fault. He just wants his sons to get along. Michael wants to hug it out, playing like, oh, we're all buddy-buddy now. And father goes to see his grandson, which keep in mind, everybody else is still frozen uh, with the time. And father unfreezes time. Linda says, what just happened? And who are you to father, otherwise known as God? And Chloe wonders where Lucifer is. Uh, party at Lux and Lucifer is playing the piano. Detective, where have you been? Chloe says, can I talk to you for a second? And Chloe says, you were about to say the words, and uh, Lucifer uh, can't take it anymore. He's tired of people telling him what to do. Chloe's going to give Lucifer some time, and when he's ready, she'll be ready to listen. Father is eternally grateful to Linda. My angel baby is God's grandkid. Uh, Amenadil tells Father Lucifer was right. Michael has made a mess. And Father knows exactly what this family needs. Chloe wants Dan to take some time off. Hey, Ella, before you start, I'm not going home. I need to focus on the case, Ella says. Obviously, with the things that happened in the previous episode with Pete, it would be wise if Ella Lopez would take some time off. But, you know what? Some people can compartmentalize and work harder under those kind of durations. So uh, Chloe and Dan don't object with Ella, and she was like ready with five pretty solid arguments uh, towards that. The victim is uh, Chris Peterson. Cause of death seems, seems to be blunt force trauma to the head. Gasoline was all over the place. Um, Ella thinks someone was trying to blow the whole place up, the kingdom up. Ella says she can find the killer, just introduce her to all the suspects, and she'll be most attracted to the killer. I don't know if she actually used the word attracted, but that's what I put in my notes. Father says Lucifer has the look on his face, or God. I don't know if I'm supposed to call him Father or God. And then Father wants Lucifer to join them for a family dinner. Lucifer tells Chloe he doesn't need space. He's right where he needs to be as he showed up at the crime scene. Chloe figures out that Lucifer is mad at his own family. Dan says he should have stayed home. Juan Perez may want to burn down the place. He owns Hole and Juan. There was a prank war going on between the two places, the, the kingdom and Hole and Juan. Juan spray painted and signed something uh, on their uh, castle. Uh, Chloe's here for Lucifer to talk about his own family. Chloe and Lucifer go to see Juan Perez. He takes off. Chloe stops him. And Juan is surprised that Chloe, or Chris is dead, I should say. Uh, Chris actually came to Juan uh, looking for a job. And then we have Betty, who actually is Tanya from uh, a few episodes of the show Shameless, which I'm currently reviewing on this channel, uh, tells Lucifer and Chloe that the family was the reason why Chris left the kingdom in the first place. In fact... Chris couldn't stand being around any of them. Mays tries to sneak up on Father, but she, he knows she's coming. Father asks Mays what she wants to ask him, and Mays says she wants a soul. Uh, she says she's per that she, he says that she's perfect the way she is, and uh, he can't help her. 
And then May says he messed up when he made demons. He made a mistake and he doesn't want to admit it. Amenadil reminds Lucifer that Father is here on Earth, and he wants us to he wants to see us and give us answers. Lucifer says Amenadil's back to being Father Lackey. Ella wants or Ella's waiting on lab results, so she kept up on maintenance. Uh, Dan noticed, so she's like cleaning everything in beakers and making everything spotless. Beakers are clean, so you know what that means. Dan tells Ella, so many people wear masks. They hide who they are, but not you. Yeah, everybody wears a freaking mask, especially where I'm in, because they're so scared of the pandemic now. Uh, even though, well, I don't want to get into that, but it's really annoying. I shouldn't say everyone, but people still wear them, and it's just laughable. Um, I don't know. I'm sure they'll start wearing them again around election time or before. More people will wear them, I should say. So she puts so much love into the world. Please don't let this change that change you we need more people out there like you ella not less so very touching thing that dan has said to ella lopez uh chloe interrupts lucifer's mini golf at the precinct chloe and lucifer ask the siblings more questions april's uh got some pot that she's the only it's april oh, my. Why did I put sums? April smokes. I must have just typed the M in the old backwards pot because that's the only way she can deal with her brothers. Peter Peterson, Chris's father, arrives. He says he killed uh, his son by accident. Uh, Michael says he should. He, we shouldn't be surprised as Lucifer isn't mature enough. Sorry I'm late. Lucifer has arrived for the family dinner. And then father tells Linda that she's the mother of his uh, grandchild, uh, of course your family. So Lindo Martin was going to leave, and father, no, you need to stay. You're the father of my son's child, so stay, please. Linda says, Grace, oh my God, this is delicious, Linda says. Lucifer asks father, why all of a sudden doesn't hell need a warden anymore? Michael's uh, sharing a, uh, Michael says sharing a face with Lucifer is uh, worse than hell, or Sam I am and Mike I am, or whatever it is. Children! Thunder hits and candles go out. All Father wanted was a nice family dinner, but apparently that's too much to ask. Linda says everything tastes like chicken. Is that like a racist comment? I don't know. <laughs> that can be construed as racism now. Uh, Amenadil apologizes to Linda for the most dysfunctional family ever. And Linda's like, well, actually, this is this is normal. Uh, father, or Lucifer tells Father, if all the apples from the tree are bad, maybe you're the problem. Ooh. Lucifer wants a confession. Dad, do you love us? If I have to tell you, then I really have failed, Father says. And he doesn't actually answer the question with that. And then Lucifer's like, yeah, you're lying because when I don't want to lie, because I don't lie, I just don't answer the question right. And then Lucifer says, you will never love us you're because you're incapable of love. And then Lucifer leaves. Uh, Peterson's, uh, you know, dead, Chris Peterson's girlfriend, Betty, they find out has lied. And Amenadil wants Father to take him instead. Make me human and Charlie an angel. And Father has decided to stay a while longer. Father tells Michael he's no longer welcome on Earth. Why am I the only one being punished? You're not. Lucifer and Chloe chase Peterson's father. He's going after Betty. And uh, what happened was Chris caught Betty trying to burn the place down. And the reason why Chris's father said that he killed Chris because he thought one of the siblings did it. So he was trying to cover from for one of his other sons or, or one of his other ch children. Uh, and then Chris caught Betty trying to burn the place down, like I mentioned. And then Chris died protecting the kingdom. Maze is mad at Michael because he promised her a soul. And Michael tells Maze that he doesn't hate her. Out of all the people here, she's like, he kind of like, you know, he doesn't hate her like everybody else. And then it, it isn't over till it's over. Chloe tells Lucifer she was wrong. She used the case to rush him. Anyhow, Detective... You've been nothing but wonderful. And then Lucifer tells Chloe he'll never be able to say the three words to Chloe. Uh, he says he's incapable of love. If he ever said those three words to Chloe, it would be a lie. And that's what ends this episode of Lucifer. So 
interesting stuff. Now I'm at the point where the season should be over with and we still have a bunch more episodes. So it's, you know, some of these episodes are good. They're not great, but some of them are really good. Uh, I'm still watching the show, though. I'm going to give this episode an 8.2 out of 10. I felt like some of the moments in the episode dragged a little bit, so uh, that's just my analysis on the, the episode. Other people might have a, a far more positive aspect and say every episode is a 10 out of 10, which, you know. Anyway, uh, 8.2 out of 10. And then my characters the episode, I was kind of like, everybody kind of did the same thing in this one. I you know, Everybody would probably give the character of the episode to God, who was played by Dennis Hasbert, who was Pedro Serrano in the uh, a couple of major league movies. Uh, I'm going to give it to Lucifer because he had the most, you know, development in my opinion. And then for the females, uh, I'm going to give it to Linda Martin in this particular episode. Um, considerations for Dan, but he didn't have a lot of time in this episode because he said some really nice things to Ella Lopez. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Lucifer and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider Hulk smashing the like button. And keep in mind, I cover a lot of stuff on this channel. I don't have a particular niche. I'm known for Dexter content, UFC fight reactions, and Walking Dead content. But I cover a lot of other things on this channel where other people have a certain niche. Uh, the reason why I want to talk about the things that I want to talk about and not only a lot of people would talk to me about those things. So that's why I created this channel. So check out the random playlist that I have on this channel. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Loose Fur. Remember to interact with me and the man, the myth, the legend, the legendary Crazy Coffee Man. Uh, let me know what your score is or let us know what your score is. Who would be your male? Who would be your female characters of the episode? Or if you just want to do one, that's fine. But really, every episode is Chloe and Lucifer, if you really think about it. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Uh, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And you'll never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.